Hi, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm still a little bit sick, or kind of a bunch sick, but not. It's not as bad as it was. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. Felt like I almost could have died because I worked too hard. I'll show you this email I sent Al. Can you see this? Yeah. <coughs> Al, I almost died after I got home to my house at Solanovich. After all the work I did. <coughs> After all the work I did <clears throat> looking for a place to live and having traumatic experiences <clears throat> with being on the streets sometimes an entire day for 24 hours, <clears throat> driving 8,000 miles total, I, and the car got home safe somehow. Not knowing how I would get a hotel without my debit card, because I lost my debit card. <sighs> and making good videos about it when I finally got to a hotel. And could actually eat some food, because I was fasting all day in between. When I was driving or out there. <sighs> looking at apartments and stuff. <sighs> I barely made the plane ride home. And I shipped my car back to my parents. I don't know if I can finish this video, but I'll try. And the next day, after I got home late at night from the plane ride, the next day was so beautiful here. Not a sound from any neighbors other than the beautiful sounds of the birds and nature and the warm sun that actually felt good. It was just the right temperature and was really like no place on earth. <clears throat> really amazing for about a day and a half. I almost cried at how good it is here compared to the shitty places I had to stay in California and worried if I'd have a place to stay that night and go through all this stuff because I, I couldn't find my credit card to even stay at a hotel and it was expensive. <clears throat> anyway, the worry of being on the streets it was not easy because <clears throat> you need a bunch of money but the next day after being home in this beautiful place <clears throat> nothing like it in California later in the day you know in Los Angeles nothing like it Unless, they have richer houses <clears throat> not as peaceful it's different <clears throat> the next day <clears throat> after being home later in the day I got a thought from someone here that he was really angry at my videos better and and the thought was that he he, he thought it only made pennies your videos you did out in California he was really angry and I thought from my friend back here who went along with him in my thoughts tossed a quarter to my family like <clears throat> that's what my hard work did all my videos got so little views I tossed a quarter to my family as if that's what my hard work earned them so I felt awful I was really devastated after how difficult it was to try to move to California to make money there And I had to come back because it was too expensive. <clears throat> so I stopped eating food. And started working out as much as I was able to. For two or three days. Was thinking if I looked in really really good shape. Like a movie star, leading man, model, somebody like that. 
then I'd finally get more views. So I just stopped eating food. And, and not just that, worked out really hard, almost as much as I was able all day, for two or three days. It wasn't my fault. God thought that they were really angry that my videos made so little. Looked down on me like that was what it amounted to, going to California. It made me feel awful, so I totally stopped eating. Worked out as much as able to for two or three days, but then I got a thought that Danica was really, really angry at me. Because I was looking at women online and imagining finally being with a woman. This is going to try to meet a new wife by getting in really good shape too and also be famous enough to make enough money at my videos <sighs> so I had no food at all for pretty much well 40 calories a day or 240 calories a day and huge workouts <sighs> and, and it's a way that work that works nowadays to get in that shape called fasting it's one of the most popular ways of losing weight nowadays that the industry, that the fitness industry professionals use. But you cannot go to carbs after fasting. It can really hurt. You gotta be in keto, they call it. And eat fat and protein and plenty of water. Working, so as working out with weights has worked for many people. It's a popular new thing, so I thought it'd be okay thought I had to get to work didn't know it hurt me for eating carbs instead but it was really bad what I did well not bad I didn't do anything wrong it was bad feeling to me felt like I was gonna die I feel better now <clears throat> but after two or three days I got a thought of Danica super angry at me <clears throat> because I was trying to meet a new wife and I could barely deal with it like she was really really angry that I had been looking at women online <sighs> makes no sense when she says she doesn't want me <sighs> I really don't like being alone without a wife but if she won't be with me I think it's okay to find someone new <sighs> and to deal with how angry Danica was because she got really angry I thought, in my thoughts, she was like angry at what I'd been looking at women online and stuff. <clears throat> Instead of me going to protein as a way to <clears throat> stay in keto on the fast, so it's healthy enough and you don't, your body doesn't go into, <clears throat> and your body almost doesn't shut down. <clears throat> Instead, to deal with the anxiety. I drank a little less than a beer. It was my only food for the day, pretty much, and a spoonful of peanut butter earlier, and huge workouts. So after I hadn't had food for like eight hours, I had a beer to deal with how angry Danica was. It was so difficult. She was angry, but I didn't know how I'd ever be with somebody if she said she doesn't want to be with me. <clears throat> so I drank a beer, didn't even drink all of it, and a few pieces of popcorn. It doesn't have much protein. So a little less than one beer, a few pieces of popcorn, only food I had all day besides a spoonful of peanut butter. I was doing huge workouts for two or three days on less than 200 calories a day. And I drank the beer instead of healthy food. And something went wrong with my body. I got really sick feeling by the next day, like, would get chills and feel so bad with it too cold or couldn't breathe if it was too hot and had to lay in a bed and make myself eat more protein and water and vitamin C and had to sleep like 14 hours a day to catch up on all the sleep that I missed out on in LA when I was on caffeine going out there all the time feeling pretty awful worrying about where, how I'd get a place to stay and afford it. But some of it was okay. Some of it was okay in California. And sometimes, there were four or five times when it felt worse than it had since 2017. All four or five of those times out in California. One time I got stuck in Skid Row. It was really 
I didn't know how I'd get my car back and spent all day walking around Skid Row with all this money in my bag. Didn't know if I'd get killed. And it was heavy. And I was worried it would hurt my body. <sighs> so, something went wrong with my body after I had that beer, after trying to starve myself to finally get my videos enough views and maybe meet a wife look good enough. <sighs> and I got really sick feeling. <sighs> And I was still barely getting better for about two days. It was not easy. A day or two. And drinking the a little less than one beer as my only nourishment with a few pieces of popcorn like shut down my body a little and was really worried. <sighs> didn't shut it down. I didn't die. Thank God. It wasn't that bad. I got really sick. <sighs> So, I had to sleep on and off almost all day in the bed for a day or two now. I'm starting to get better, I think. And I had to make myself eat food, like beef soup or whatever I had here. Farina, protein, and plenty of water, carefully. <sighs> Added lemon juice to water. Vitamin C, B vitamins, because I had been eating vegan. But that's not why. It was because I hadn't had food and had the beer. I had also ate beef jerky in L.A. And I was really worried. But somehow I think I am a little or way better. Can't say for sure how much better I, I am. I drink water with the lemon juice added to it. Emergency with B vitamins. Plenty of water. And I feel better but still sick and still kind of worried. And was barely able to type this. But I thought I would let you know. I wrote this to Al. Because his wife, they went on vacation. And when they got back, she kept working and working. She thought she had to work. And she died. It was really sad. Way worse than what happened to me. But something like that happened to me this time. But not as bad. <coughs> and this is weird. I also got a thought of Al angry at me for working so hard. And he told me, Sig Hail. Like, I was try he thought I was trying to make way more money or something. Like, it wasn't good enough. But it wasn't my fault at all. I thought I had to do something to make more money at videos because it made so little. It made me kind of want to die, but got happy at the idea that I would stop eating food and really work out and look like a super movie star so people would watch my videos more like those famous rock stars who are skinny. But my way was a little more muscle. That was how I got in shape enough. I couldn't do it like those rock stars be that skinny. I, it didn't look good enough. I needed the muscle to get the look better. When I really got in shape. But that's my favorite kind of look. Like the low body fat in the stomach. And I was happy that I finally. I thought I'd finally get famous enough. Famous enough to make money at it. And was so determined. And thought I would find a wife. And instead I got really sick. To deal with the worry about Danica, I drank instead of going to protein. <coughs> Less than a beer. But I had been hardly having anything and it really made me sick. <coughs> it was really scary how sick I got. <coughs> I may have to go in the other room and get air. I don't know. So I guess I'm a little better now. Or maybe a bunch better. And it's so awful that most of the money I have came from having to work in real estate. That made me depressed. And less money at videos and films. Even though I got happy. I, I like doing that work. And it's real work on videos and films. But I did feel like I did okay. Something happened after... I got the thought of those people saying your videos only made pennies and some miracle happened and I got the thought after they said that, hey, I've done pretty well. I'm like a famous person. I watched this video of Theo Vaughn and he doesn't have as much net worth. He has less than a million dollars and he does kind of famous stuff and I did kind of famous stuff and uh, but all his money came from the famous stuff. He never had to work a hard day's labor in his life to make that kind of money. He may have one when he was younger. I don't know. 
but it made me happy that I was kind of like a famous person too. But I was still worried that they said, your video has only made pennies. So I thought I'll get really famous and finally have enough and never have to work at things that make me depressed again. And then when I went to that beer to deal with Danica, to get rid of the anxiety, it made me really sick. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so I said to Al, what are your thoughts on this? I didn't know any better, didn't do it at all in meanness. Why would it be Sig Hale? I got the thought from him like Sig Hale if I was trying to make more money even though I, I, I got the thought I had done okay after they made fun of me. I felt really bad after after I got the thought. They said I'm, my new videos made pennies or, or quarters and stuff. And then all of a sudden it got okay. Like look back at all the big videos I did and it, and it felt okay. But I still was worried. You know, where did the real money come from working on houses? So I guess because they had made fun of me like my work wasn't good enough, it made me feel so bad. And and then one of them got really sick too, more sick than I did. And he didn't know any better. He he just works at trying to make more money and was putting pressure. He, he was giving me stress to try to make more money and do more work. It wasn't his fault. And he was like the leader of the thing that was saying I only made a few court quarters or a quarter and my friend I got the thought of my friend tossing a quarter of my family for my hard work going to LA like mean stuff to go along with the other one <laughs> but the other one who was really leading the, the whole thing to say I, I didn't do enough like after I only felt okay for a day back here and then I had to get to work again because of what he said he got really sick way worse than me and I thought maybe he was gonna die and they're gonna have to call the um, not. They're almost gonna have to call an ambulance to get him because he was so sick. And he didn't know any better. He was just being himself. <sighs> he thought he had to work a bunch, and I had to work a bunch. So I hope to God he's okay and doesn't die. He got sicker than me. <sighs> so. That's it. <clears throat> what do you think? You can comment if you feel like it. Click like on the video, comment. <sighs> I'm gonna take it easy after this. I don't know how my videos will get more views. I've been at it so long. I don't know what I'll do to make enough money. It's been a worry. But I don't have to worry. I guess Al said I don't have to worry at all. <sighs> so what do you think? Click like on the video. <sighs> Watch more videos. I'm going to go. Bye. <sighs> this is John Birmingham. <sighs> praise God. Praise Jesus. Believe in God and Jesus and you'll be saved. I'm going to go. Check out more videos if you want from me. Okay, bye. I hope to God God is with you. Bye. I love Ro and Ivan, your baby sister. I love your mom, my parents, my family, friends. Those watching, I hope you're okay. Hope you do God's work on our day, man. Okay, bye.